Hi and welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. This week I want to share with you how I make a couple of my favourite sauces, Hollandaise and Bernays. Basically they're really, really similar, but one has got tarragon and one hasn't. And I'm going to show you two different methods, one using the Maggi Mix, which is really super easy, and then the other way if you don't have a Maggi Mix. So we're going to do our Hollandaise sauce first. Hollandaise is so delicious with asparagus and I am loving asparagus at the moment. And Hollandaise with, you know, poached eggs, eggs benedict, just utterly delicious. Lots of people are scared of how to make it. So I'm going to show you my method and um, hopefully you find it super easy and you can enjoy doing it in your own homes as well. So to start, I'm going to melt 125 grams of butter, unsalted or salted, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to melt that on my alka. I've been cooking tea cakes on there again and um, I haven't cleaned it, I didn't realise. I'm going to crack two eggs into this bowl. Now this bowl is on top of a saucepan with some water. You've got to make sure that the water doesn't touch the base of your bowl. This is called a bain marie and I'm just going to, in fact I need another bowl because I only want my um, egg yolks. So two egg yolks. I'm going to put my whites in here. Maybe I can make some meringues or something with those. And just get all of the egg white into your bowl. And plop that yolk in there. And then do the same with the other one. two yolks in my bain marie. A little bit of black pepper and I'm just going to crunch in a pinch of sea salt too. And then a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. In fact, let me just take that off the top there. Now, while I've been chatting, my butter is melting. It's not completely melted, but that's fine. And I'm just going to whisk those together. My butter has completely melted. So I'm now going to put my bain marie on there. Now you want to make sure that your bowl is pretty stable in there and it wants to be on a low heat. Otherwise you'll scramble your eggs. Now I am pouring my butter into a jar because I find it easier. Now I'm going to check my watch. I want to be pouring this butter slowly, but within two minutes. And I just find it easier from the jug. So just a little bit at a time. And just keep whisking. And this is why you want to make sure that that bowl is stable because you don't have a spare hand to hold it. You can also just swirl your jug around a little bit because the butter can separate slightly. And just keep pouring slowly and whisking. Swirl that round, check the time, it's just under a minute, it's okay. Okay. 
and just gradually add it in and occasionally if you need to swirl you can if you pour too quickly it will ruin and if you pour too slowly it will ruin so if you try and keep it under two minutes you know you should be okay all of my butter in there a really good whisk and there is your hollandaise so it is very easy but like everything it's easy when you know how now you want to keep it warm until you serve it. Really, you want to serve it immediately. You don't want um, to leave it sitting because it can separate. So it is something that you sort of want to do and then serve. So I'm gonna just leave mine to one side and hopefully it will be fine while I show you how to make the Bernays. I'm using a small handful of tarragon and I've just separated my leaves and my stalks and I'm just going to finely chop my stalks. I've put a tea cloth under my chopping board and it stops it rocking around which is a really good little tip. If your chopping board's moving it makes life tricky and we don't need life being tricky do we? So those are my stalks in that pile. And then here are my leaves. That's some excess tarragon. And we'll add those in. And just then finally chop these up. Now for the Bernays. In the Maggi mix, it's really, really very easy. I have got my butter, again, 125 grams, and I'm just gonna melt that on the agar. You don't want your butter to burn, so don't um, don't overdo it on the agga. You just want it sort of melted and beginning to bubble. So in here, I'm using my little bowl and my little blade. Two eggs. And again, I'm just gonna crack those into my bowl. So you just want the egg yolks. I've got the door open. The birds are being really noisy. But actually it's really a beautiful day here and it's lovely to have um, the door open, but hopefully it's not too noisy. It's a very noisy crowd there. And in that one goes throw these away and rinse my hands quickly. Right, in my butter, I'm just going to put my tarragon stalks to melt in there. And some black pepper in with my eggs. A little bit of sea salt. Now, lemon juice is optional. It depends, you know, on your preference. I'm just going to put in a teaspoon of lemon juice because we love a bit of lemon. A teaspoon of lemon or a little bit of a squeeze of lemon. Lemon, And I've got some tarragon vinegar here. Tarragon vinegar is not always easy to come by. You can make your own by using white wine vinegar and just infuse it with tarragon and leave it to sit. Or if you come across some of this, use that. If you don't want to make your own tarragon vinegar, white wine vinegar is absolutely fine. So just a teaspoon of that in there. I'm going to pop my lid on and just see how my butter is doing behind me. My butter is melted. So I'm going to pour it into my jug because I just find it 
so much easier that way. Now I'm going to turn this on to auto and you might not be able to hear me so I'm going to bring you up close and then hopefully you can hear me. So again, you want to get your butter in within two minutes. So just slowly pour it, don't go too quickly, don't get carried away and put it in too much in at once. Just have a stopwatch and just slowly, slowly drizzle it in. Again, you might just need to give your jug a little shake because the fat separates slightly. This is such an easy method if you've got a Magimix. You can also use a Thermomix, which works really well as well for making Bernays and Bundes sauces. But both of these sauces are really, you know, very similar base. I just wanted to show you the two different methods. A moment of truth. <laughs> it's looking good, guys. So then you can just add in your tarragon leaves. And I'm going to just take that blade it in there and show you that delicious sauce. Now let's just move that to one side and move you down even more and I'll just show you what it looks like when you decant it. Just mix those leaves in a bit. This lovely, rich, yellow colour. And it's just so yummy and so good. Delicious served with steak, I think, or you know, even a cold beef platter. Just simply scrumptious. I don't make it too often because my husband adores it too much. And it's not the healthiest of things. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, just so yummy and so good. They are eggs from our chicken, so they've got a really rich colour too. So there we have it, my Bernays sauce with the tarragon and then my hollandaise is here. I'm just keeping it on the back of the aga to keep it warm until we're ready to enjoy it. But just look at that super delicious and you saw how easy they were don't be put off honestly give it a whirl practice makes perfect so you know if it goes wrong don't fret you can start again try again but the secret is getting that butter you know just to bubbling point and then don't let it sit don't wander off and do anything pop it in its jug and then straight in pour it in within two minutes and it's less likely to split and ruin and you know, if you've got a Magi Mix, brilliant. If you've got a Thermomix, you're winning. But you saw how I did this by that method. Just make sure that your bowl is stable on your saucepan. You can even get somebody to give you a hand, you know, and pour while you hold and whisk. Just, you know, be careful with that method. Anyway, I hope that you have found that useful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next week is a Q&A, so please remember to ask me your questions and I will be answering them for you next week. Give this video a thumbs up if you have found it helpful. I am sending you loads of love and wishing you a super, super weekend.